What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. I'm back again after fucking going through a bunch of shit. Um, if you guys didn't notice, I wound up blocking that Felicia bitch and a couple others due to their comments. But, uh, you know, I'm really fucking tired of this shit. Like, every time I go to do a live stream, Somebody's always got to start some kind of bullshit just to get me riled up, and I'm, I'm sick of this shit, man. Like I was trying to, you know, address a very real issue that, you know, goes on. I was trying to address a very legitimate, real issue with people trying to take my name, my actual stage name. And when these three month, three or four motherfuckers went in, as you guys might know, Felicia, Patrick, and all them, they check out my live streams a lot and just love to start shit. So I finally said, fuck you to them both and blocked them because I got tired of their shit. Like, you know, I'm really tired of, you know, People fucking doing this shit. Like, it, it's dumb. But back to what I was saying earlier. These motherfuckers claiming my goddamn stage name is really pissing me the fuck off. Because, you know, like, I sit here and I bust my ass. You know, building up a rep for myself. And these motherfuckers want to get famous off my name. Like... Dude, do you not realize that I fucking register my name every year? Do you not realize that every year I copyright my name? Like, dude, look my name up, man. Like, for real, dude, you type in my first and last name, you will see my Reverb Nation, my SoundCloud, all that shit. But what pisses me off is that these motherfuckers that are doing this shit are playing shows, getting in magazines. And like, these motherfuckers are getting famous off of my name. And it's really fucking, it's pissing me off to no end. Like, I am the one and only Shadow Boy. I've had that name since fucking high school. And y'all are getting fucking famous off of my name. Getting in magazines. Getting the fucking tour under my name. Like, dude, that should be, that should be me doing that. Not you. And if you want to continue to try to, you know, keep my name, guess what, motherfucker? I will pursue you to court. Because guess what? I have the certificate to prove that I own the name. I register it this time on this day every year, just as I've done every year. Because if you guys don't know, today is the day that I started my career under the name, underneath the name Shadowblade in 2010. That is the exact day that I started my career. Eight years ago today, I started my career. So every day I register it on this date. You know, it's fucking ridiculous that, you know, I can't even fucking, like, you know, I can't even fucking do my own shit without somebody busting my balls. You know, 
He's trying to fucking steal my name and shit. Like, it's getting old. It's getting annoying. Like, what the fuck, man? And by the way, to the 152 people out there that, you know, liked my shit on the last live stream, thank you for the views. But if y'all don't know, um, my boy Aiden here, Young Fox, filled me in on what's going on. So thank you, Fox, for filling me in, bro. Um, like I said, I don't know who's getting famous off of my shit, but it needs to stop. But Aiden, I want you to contact that magazine that you were telling me about and tell them that the real Shadow Blade is here in Akron, Ohio. And let them know that another motherfucker is out there stealing my name and that I am the original. And if they would like to get in contact with me or to please do it, like, as soon as possible, because I want this put out there. You know, I want this to be made viral. I want this to be out in the public eye so that people know that I am the one and only original Shadow Blade. The King of Darkness is back. Full time. Like I said, I don't know who's been getting famous off my name, but I've had that name since 2008, back in high school. And who's ever getting famous off my name? Fucking touring, getting in magazines. Like I said, that should be me and that shit, not y'all fucking claiming my name. Because guess what? Y'all motherfuckers are bringing in disgrace to my name, that I've busted my ass on to own, that I've busted my ass off for every fucking day. Y'all are a fucking disgrace to the name, because y'all are sitting there claiming my name and getting 15 seconds of fame in magazines, on radio stations, tours. Well, guess what? Today, that shit ends, because little do you little motherfuckers know that today, eight years ago, is the day that I started my career underneath the name Shadow Blade officially. So every year I register my name and copyright my name every year on this very date. So for y'all to steal my name like that and get away with it and tour, like, are you fucking kidding me, man? I've busted my ass making a name for myself doing this, and I ain't about to give it up. So to all you motherfucking wannabes out there, y'all best be watching your fucking backs, because you know what? The real Shadow Blade is right here in Akron, Ohio, and if I catch you repping my name or you guys pretend to be me, and I see you at all, I guarantee fucking to you, I'm going to call your fucking bitch asses out. I will call you out because you know what? You don't own that name. I do. I register the name every year on this exact date. I just happened to post a certificate up for it because I fucking felt like it. I do it underneath the site copyrighted.com every year. Like, you know, I've been with them for years. I really trust them. You know, I haven't had to take anybody to court, but it's really getting to that point to where I may have to take somebody to court if these motherfuckers don't stop trying to claim my damn name. Because it's, it's really fucking ridiculous. Because you know what? I've busted my ass for this thing. I shouldn't have to do it anymore. And believe it or not, dude, I was actually thinking about that. Like, if this guy does not stop claiming my name, I do plan on, you know, trying to find an attorney for free. And I do plan on trying to pursue this guy if things don't work out. Because what I'm going to have done is I'm going to have my buddy Aiden, a.k.a. Young Fox, get a hold of these magazines 
and letting them know that I am the real Shadow Blade. And that way, you know, nothing has to be taken to court. Like, I don't want it to be taken to court. Like, I really don't. But if it comes to that, you know, I do what I have to do. I have had this name since 2010. I mean, hell, dude, you can type in my name, my first and last name. You can type it in, and my name comes up underneath that name. Or if you type in Shadow Blade underneath all at once or separate, it don't matter which, my picture is the first one to come up. My shit's the first stuff to come up. You know, I've always wondered why since I came back underneath my original name, why, you know, not many people are enjoying my stuff or like I'm not getting the likes that I used to and then I'm not getting the hype that I did when I first started out. Well, now I know why. Because these little motherfucking bitches wanting to claim my shit. Right, and I do, like I said, dude, I do plan on doing that if this continues on. This is just, you know, a fair warning to anybody out there who, you know, sees these guys out there claiming my name. Like, if y'all see these guys, you know, and like you see them claiming my name, don't be afraid to walk up and say something to them. Yeah, I know, dude. And believe me, man, like, like I said, this is just a warning to them for now that if this does persist and they do continue under my name, I do plan on pursuing and pressing charges if needed. And see, and that's the thing, dude. Like, I'm not like that. Like, I want to give these guys a chance to, you know, come clean and, you know, step down. Because, like, you know, I'm that kind of guy. Like, I'll give you a chance to, you know, back off. And if you don't, well, there will be consequences, unfortunately. So to the motherfucker out there who's claiming my name and getting famous off of it, this is your one warning, man. Either back the fuck off and stop claiming my shit and my name and getting famous off of it, or I will take your ass to court, plain and simple. I don't want to, but by God, if I fucking have to, I will. Like, this is fucking ridiculous. I shouldn't have to hop on here just to call a motherfucking bitch out for claiming my shit. Like, it's, it's dumb. But, you know, like, it's ridiculous. Like, why should I have to fucking fight to keep my name? I shouldn't have to fucking do that. Sorry, guys, if you don't know, I'm sitting here not only talking about this issue, but also watching baseball. Um, if you guys don't know... My hometown, Seattle Mariners, fucking love y'all. Um, even though they lost, I mean, they lost to my second favorite team, which is Cleveland Indians, not going to lie. So, I mean, it wasn't too bad of a loss. I mean, two of my favorite teams went at it. One of my favorite teams won. But, uh, you know, I've got 212-plus fans on Reverb Nation alone, and that's not counting... Sites like Number One Music. Um, that's not counting sites like SoundCloud. Hell, that's not even counting my Facebook fans for my fan page and, you know, fans that I've gained recently. But, yo, this is fucking ridiculous, man. Like, these dudes getting famous off of my motherfucking name? 
doing tours off my name, getting in magazines off of my name when that should be me in the motherfucking magazines and doing the tours, playing my shit, playing my stuff and getting away with it. Nah, motherfucker, your fucking reign of being fake and pretending to be me ends today, motherfucker. Because if you guys don't know, today marks the eight-year anniversary mark that I started my music career back in 2010. On this date, back in 2010, I started my music career under the name Shadow Void. And finally, I do want to say, you know, happy anniversary to the Shadow Boy name. You know, I cannot say I've had that name since high school as a nickname. You know, obviously, and you know, like guys, if you guys don't know, as I said in my previous live stream that people were jumping my shit about. Um, my now past best friend, um... David Stone King was the one that gave me that nickname shortly before he had passed in 2009. So I've had that name since literally freaking 2008. That's okay, Sam. No worries. You're good. But, you know, I've ran away from fighting back from my name multiple times. And, you know, enough is enough. I'm here to reclaim and keep my name, Shadowblade, as the one and only Shadowblade once and for motherfucking all permanently until I'm dead in the motherfucking ground. Right, exactly, and and I see your point, Charles, but the point is, dude, they're getting fame and money off of my stuff when it should be me that's getting all that, not them. So, I mean, if you guys are just now joining the live stream, if you guys don't know, well, it's not exactly, like, today. But it may as well be tomorrow today because it's like only a couple hours away. But on today coming up is the first, well actually the eight year anniversary mark of my start of my music career. So eight years ago today, I started up the fan base for Shadow Boy. That's when I began my music career. So eight years I've held that fucking name. Eight years I've held Reverb Nation's top spot as Akron's best dubstep artist. I've held number one on Reverb Nation for eight years. And gained a really good amount of fans. I gained 212 fans on Reverb Nation, several hundred on Number One Music, and a couple hundred on SoundCloud. And that's just with that. That's not counting my Facebook fan page and all the likes I've got on that. And so, you know, I do have a, a good sized fan base. But these guys are getting famous off of my shit, and it's, it's stupid. But what pisses me off is, you know, how they're 
you know, getting away with it. Sorry guys, if you see me doing this, I'm actually looking to see what's on TV right now because there's not much really on. And fuck your future on, I'll watch Futurama. But, like, this shit's ridiculous, man. And believe it or not, Charles, that's actually what I'm doing. I actually have my first concert, my first official concert, coming up June 21st of this year here at the Vortex in Akron, Ohio, for free. So, anybody wants to come to the show or has a way to the show, Stop on in at the Vortex. If you need the address, I'll send it to you. I'll be showing up there at 8 p.m. sharp. I will be doing signing, pictures. Um, I will have some stuff for you guys. Like, I will have some handouts for y'all, so that's going to be cool. And if you guys wonder why I drink so much iced tea, it's actually because of the fact that I am trying to get back into the shape that I was in in high school. And, you know, I'm basically trying to, you know, stay healthy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do drink Monster and Rockstar and stuff like that every once in a while. But most of the time, you know, I drink healthy drinks and stuff. Try to stay healthy and fit in shape. But um, also, something I did mention, if you guys would like a custom VIP pass for the official Shadowblade fan club, um, all you got to do is message me your address and your info and what picture you want. Like, you know, your info as far as like, you know, your name and stuff like that you know your basic stuff that you normally would have on an access pass or like an id like um you know like my gaming team id card it's kind of like that and if you guys don't know i am actually getting my first official Extreme Speeds official gaming ID in the mail between May 4th and 8th. So that's coming up. So that's going to be dope. Um, but um, I'm about seven, eight songs deep right now into getting the full set done. Um, I will be doing a couple remixes of famous songs for you guys. Because I know a lot of you guys like my dubstep remixes. So that'll be pretty dope. And yes, I will be doing a special one for some of y'all. Huh, that's weird. And don't worry, Sam, you're not the only one that's been doing it a couple pe- to a couple people. So don't feel like I know it's weird, but, you know, just go with it. It happens. But I will be doing a couple remix. Um, songs, um, like one of them that's one of my personal favorites is my version of, um, what song was it that I did? I've done so many fucking remixes, guys. I'm trying to remember which one it was that I'm doing for the show. Hey, Ben, what's good, buddy? But, you know, it's... Like, I know I keep going back to the same thing. But, you know, I just... I really think it's fucking ridiculous that these motherfuckers are out there running around, getting in magazines, doing concerts with my work, 
and playing shows under my name and getting away with it. And if y'all want to know what the term, like what the name Shadow Blade ultimately means, it means, you know, for me, I'm able to take people to that dark place that, you know, nobody can take them to. Like, I'm able to do that. Well, uh, y'all, I'm actually, sorry guys, I've actually been trying to render this video for my gaming channel, like, all fucking day long. Hopefully it goes through this time, but, um, but the name Shadowblade not only has my nickname, but has my stage name for me, which I found this out later on. After, you know, my best friend gave me the nickname is that music wise, I'm able to take people to that dark world to the other side in their minds and show them just how dark things can be. And when I do it, I do it in such a way that it's like it's dark. It's shadowy. I'm able to take them to that dark place that they might not necessarily want to go to and show them what could come of that. And then obviously, you know, my beats, they're like fucking blaze. Or when I, you know, spit bars or scream, like I make that shit sharp as hell. So hence the nickname Shadow Blade because my beats are like fucking swords. I sharpen every single track down to the T. I make sure that they're all clean, polished, and dead on. Like my first song I ever fucking recorded, Voices in My Head. That was actually one of my darkest ones. Yeah, definitely, Ben. Um, as a matter of fact, dude, if you message me, I will actually send you some of my more recent stuff. But like I said, you know, like my first ever song, Voices in My Head, like that was just me basically talking to myself in a sense. I was basically talking to myself, you know, and showing people what these voices in you know, your mind can do. They can ultimately destroy you if you let them. And like I said, Charles, like I don't just do dubstep. I do all styles. But dubstep is my main style, which I am going to be doing for the show, obviously. Yo, Crystal Miller, what is up? It has been a minute. What is good, man? How have you been, kid? But, um, if you guys don't know, actually, one of my good friends from a while ago, which he no longer has a YouTube channel for whatever fucking reason, me and him sat down and he had me record some of my metal vocals, which you guys have heard this song before, which I'll play for you now. It was originally Darkness Dubstep with Screamo, and then we wound up renaming it to Feeding on Darkness. So I'll play that for you guys right now for y'all to hear. And yes, I'll be playing this at the show if you guys are wondering. And I don't know if you guys are in the metal or not, but if you are, here you go. Yeah. 
And there you guys go. That's a little bit of a preview for you guys of one of the songs. Um, I do have more, which I will actually, I don't know if you guys are into horrorcore or not, but, hey, you know what, like, I'm I'm not going to play some of my horrorcore stuff, because I know some of it's a little bit on the twisted and fucked up side of things, but. Yes, there is a button there. Um, I will be bringing back... Some of my original stuff, y'all. And I mean, when I mean original, I mean my first year type shit. Like, my back in the day shit that nobody really checked out type shit. As a matter of fact, I will actually play you guys one of the dubstep songs that I will be doing. It's actually going to be one of my, actually my, oh, pardon me, my very first original successful dubstep track. All the way down here, where the hell is it at? Okay, apparently it's not in this one. Because I know I got like a bunch of them. So I just really got to go in and find, you know, which one. It is here, because I have, like, multiple ones, and the reason why is for the fact that Hold on, let me add some... Alright, here we go. And it won't work, but that's cool, though. But if you guys don't know, man, I got a lot of shit. Yo, my brother, what is up? Eric, what is good, man? If y'all don't know, me and Eric do have a new album coming out soon. Can't tell you the name of it because it's a surprise for y'all. But if y'all are just now joining the live stream, man, there's been these motherfuckers going around. You know, basically claiming my name and getting in magazines, doing shows and getting paid under my name for my work. Well, you know what? And Eric can vouch for this. And Eric, you know you can vouch for this because I talked to you first day I started this. Today, well, tomorrow today, eight years ago, I started my journey underneath the name Shadowblade. That is when I started my motherfucking career. Yo, what up, Ben? Um, I will be sending you my stuff, bro. Don't worry. As soon as this live stream's over, bro, I will be hitting you up for sure, man. 
But uh, actually, I tell you what, Ben, I will actually send you my stuff from one of my other channels since I can't fucking find my original one where I posted my shit. I don't know why I can't seem to find half my shit. I've got so many names of my stuff under because of Reverb Nation, dude. Like it, It's crazy. But yo, Ben, I am going to send you my most, basically my most famous dubstep piece that everybody's going just, Absolutely fucking ballistic over. It currently has a hundred and twelve views. So I will send that over to you, man. Don't worry. Hold on, I got it in a new tab, so I'm sending it to you right now, brother. Alright, there you go, Ben. I just sent it, dude. Check it out. But yo, Ben, if you don't know, I just sent these. As a matter of fact, I will play this song for you guys because I know you guys do like this one. And this will be my opening song for the show. Now that I did play a little bit of that for y'all, now I am going to do the special one that the big homie, motherfucking Julian Solano from Nightcore, hooked me up with after he did a remix of it. So shout out to Nightcore, shout out to my boy Julian Solano, man, you fucking killed it, dude. So I'm going to play his version of this for you guys. Shout out to all my nightclub fans out there, dude. Oh, my God. 
And there you have it, guys. That was the Nightcore version of my song called I Am a Monster, which, honestly, I was surprised that Julian did that, though. That was dope. So shout out to Nightcore. Shout out to Julian Solano, man, for hooking me up with that remix. Dude, that was hot. I love what you did, man. You killed it. Like always, man, you always kill that shit for sure. But, you know... The point being, like, the main topic, you know, for this is, you know, these motherfuckers need to stop getting rich and making a name for themselves off of my name and getting in magazines and doing all this dumb shit. And like I said, I had no idea until my boy Aiden, a.k.a. Young Fox, shout out to the King of Bolton, and, you know, he was the one that filled me in. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, these guys are getting rich off of my name, getting in fucking magazines, playing my songs, playing shows that I should be playing. And it's really fucking annoying. Like, this shit needs to stop. Because I am the one and only Shadow Blade. I am the one and only Master of the Shadows. I am the one and only Demon King Virus. So you can't fucking stop me. Besides that, y'all, if y'all want to know, I do have the certificate to prove it. Y'all want proof? Go look at my timeline. I got the certificate right there. I have my name registered under that site, which I do every motherfucking year. So, like, you know, and like I said at the very beginning of the live stream, I'll give y'all a chance to take down my shit and tell the truth to the media about what's going on. Or guess what? Your motherfucking bitch asses are going to court. I'm suing your ass for every motherfucking penny that you made off of my fucking name. And if you don't think I'll do it, you're sadly mistaken. I can and will do it. So here's your guys' warning. Either take down my shit right now, within the next 24 hours, within the next 24 to 48 hours, you either take my shit down or I start finding a fucking lawyer for free to help me out with this shit. Because that money that you guys are making off of me should be going to me, not you. Because like I said, I am the one and only Shadow Blade. I am the one and only King of Darkness. I can't be touched and I can't be stopped. This has been your one warning. Take my shit down now and pay me for every motherfucking thing. And I'll even fucking send you my fucking PayPal so you can do it. So either pay me for every motherfucking penny that you owe me. 
or I'm taking your ass to court. So these are your choices. Take my shit down and pay me for every motherfucking thing that you owe me within the next 24 to 48 hours. Or option B, I take you to court and I sue your fucking asses. So take your pick. And to all my fans out there, I love you guys. Shout out to all my supporters. Shout out to my brother Eric. Shout out to Ben. Shout out to every motherfucking fan out there, dude. And yeah, you're right, dude. He might be the king of darkness in the rock world. But in the dubstep and rap world, I am the one true king of darkness. Peace.